Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And this is the sixth video in my Android 101 playlist. Today we're gonna to talk all about how to use Google Assistant on your Android device. Google Assistant is very similar to other virtual assistant you may have used in the past, and I'm gonna show you how it's gonna help you get more things done all with your voice. Let's get started. To get started with Google Assistant on the Galaxy S8, we just need to hold down on the home button. If you're using another Android phone, you'll wanna go into the Google Play Store and search for the Google application and make sure that it is all the way updated first. If Google Assistant doesn't work, you may have an old version of Android and we'll need to see if there's an upgrade or check out getting a new phone like this beautiful Galaxy S8. First, I just need to hold down on the home button here and this will take me Hi, to my Google Assistant. Google Assistant. I can help you find what you need and get things done. If you need help, just ask, what can you do? So, how can I help? What can you do? I can help you with lots of things. For example, you can say things like Earth Day tips or fact about nature. Swipe to see more options. The first time you go into the Google Assistant, it will ask you to say the keyword three times so that it can learn your voice and then it can interact to you on any screen. And that keyword is OK Google. That will activate your Google Assistant. So here we're going to say get started. OK Google. OK Google. OK Google. Now that I have trained Google Assistant for my voice, it can automatically unlock my screen or pull up Google Assistant from any application. Since I already have a pattern or a fingerprint, you need to verify your security so that it knows you are adding Google Assistant voice detection. So now, if I'm on any screen, all I need to do is say, OK, Google, and that will automatically activate the Google Assistant. So the Google Assistant will allow you to make phone calls, text people, search items, navigate all with a voice. Text Brett, I'll see you tomorrow at 10. Which number do you want to text? For example, you can say the first one. The first one. Got it. Do you want to send it or change it? Send. Okay. Message sent. You can see that it sent that message. Also, if at any time I wanted to select an item on the screen, I could have done that as well. Another thing that I use Google Assistant for is to help me remember things. When I get to Costco, remind me to buy eggs. Okay, do you want to save this? And here it is asking if that's what I wanted the title to be. Also, is it a time or a place? And so it knew that I set a place and it said Costco. And then all I needed to say is yes, and it will save that. And I can come in here and you saw that I stopped Google Assistant and you can do that anytime or start it up as well as click the check mark. Yes. Okay, reminder saved. Set an event tomorrow at 8 a.m. to make breakfast. Okay, do you want to save this? Yes. Okay, event created. Just like that, it's automatically added to your calendar. You can also ask other items like, what movie is playing tomorrow? What movies are playing tomorrow? playing your Linden tomorrow. Here it's going to give you some other items that you can select and it will give you information based on that. I also use Google Assistant to help me find out when stores are open or to even navigate. All you need to do is activate Google Assistant and then say the location you would like to go. You can say an address or a specific location. Navigate to the Statue of Liberty. 
Liberty National Monument is 2,193 miles away. Tap to start navigation. If you are ever unsure of what things you can ask, again, you can always say, what can I do? Here are some things to try. You can say things like, set a timer, or set a timer for five minutes. Swipe to see more options. Here are some of the items it's suggesting, setting timers. We can also ask about certain days. We can say a certain song or type of music and it will play music. We can play games. We can control the lights if we have a smart controlled lights, as well as um, other items like sports and answers to any question that you have right here with Google Assistant. Here it's saying we can ask about weather, if we want to know if we need a jacket tomorrow, what the temperature is gonna be, all kinds of fun things that you can do with the Google Assistant that will really enhance and make using your phone much easier. Thank you so much for joining me in my Android 101 playlist. If this video was helpful to you, I'd love for you to go to patreon.com forward slash tech with Brett, where you can help support this channel and for me to make more videos like this. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. If this is your first time here, I'd love for you to click the subscribe button so that you can be notified of my new and upcoming videos. I plan to do more videos series like this so that I can help you gain more knowledge and use your devices better. If you would like to see more videos that I cover, check out the links over here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.